In this online lecture, we're going to talk about Lewis acids and bases. And what I want you to know here is that Lewis defines an acid as an electron acceptor and a base as an electron donor. Let's make sure we understand these observations. And let me show you an example here. This right here, HCl, is playing the role as a Lewis acid, and water is playing the role as a Lewis base. And the way Lewis defines acids and bases, he would say that an acid is an electron acceptor, and the opposite base is an electron donor. Let's understand how Lewis got to these observations. For instance, let's look at HCl. Remember, we know in this reaction he gives up an H+, which means we strip that H off and we leave the electrons in the bond to the Cl behind, which means the H that we're looking at, his orbital picture, means that he has an empty S orbital. What we simply have is the one proton of hydrogen and no electrons in that S orbital, giving him an overall formal charge of plus one. Now, watch what Lewis observed in this reaction. We're taking this empty S orbital, and we're going to take the electrons right here on the oxygen of the base, and we're going to donate those electrons to the S orbital. Notice, since the oxygen on the base is donating electrons, remember, Lewis defines a base as an electron donor, and that's exactly what water did. The electrons, again, on the oxygen donated to the empty S orbital of the hydrogen, which in turn means that the acid, the H+, accepted those electrons. So this is simply another way to think about an acid-base reaction. And let's look at the aftermath of this matchup here. The two electrons on the oxygen that we donated here will become now a bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen. That means the hydrogen will lose his plus one formal charge and the oxygen will now have a plus formal charge. Notice that oxygen does have three single bonds and one lone pair of electrons. We saw in a previous online lecture that in this case, that means oxygen is going to have a positive formal charge. This explains why we end up with, therefore, then H3O plus. The molecule is overall plus, again, because the formal charge on the oxygen is plus one. Notice this is a more detailed conceptualization of an acid-base reaction. And sometimes in organic chemistry, we may need to refer to this way of conceptualizing an acid-base reaction. So let's look at a sample problem to make sure you got this. Sample problem one, identify the Lewis acid and base in the following reaction. First, let's make an important observation. Let's look at our product. Notice this is the new bond that's being formed, the bond between the nitrogen of the ammonia and the boron of BH3. Remember, each bond contains two electrons. To figure out the Lewis acid and Lewis base, we need to figure out who donated those electrons and who accepted them. Well, let's look at NH3 and BH3 below here. Notice it's the nitrogen that has the electrons and the boron doesn't have a lone pair of electrons. So the bond formed between them must have involved the nitrogen donating the two electrons here, which created the new bond between them. That would therefore make the NH3 the electron donor and the BH3 the electron acceptor. So if that's the case, that makes NH3 the Lewis base and BH3 the Lewis acid. So what have we learned here? We saw that key point. Lewis defines an acid as an electron acceptor and a base as an electron donor.